Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to blend two images together. I'm going to turn this walkway into water. Blending two images together is not hard, it's using the masks only. So I've got this one opened up and I'm going to place the other one what I want just on top the rivet. And I'm just going to lower its opacity down so I can see what would where I'm placing it. Goes there. That'll be alright there. Now I'm just going to put it right back up. Now what I'm going to do is grab the selection brush and just make a little selection down there and click on the mask layer. And then cool and D. The reason why I could have masked the whole lot into a black mask by pressing O and then clicking on the um mask layer. But for now I just did a small bit and then what we need to do is now paint in the rest of it. So we need to go to our brush tool, make sure we've got our black selected and make sure the mask is selected and then just paint in the rest. Don't go too far over, because what we need to do is, like what I've just done, I've just gone too far, so I need to switch the colour around and just paint that bit back out. If you go too far, you can do the exact same. Now, now we've got this part all done. Obviously, if we go right up to the edge, it's going to be too dark. Actually, I'll just do this part here. And then what we need to do is lower the flow rate. That means when, when we paint then, it doesn't paint it in so hard. And we do need to go right down to about 10%. Once it gets so far, if you put your mouse cursor over the flow rate and just use your mouse wheel, it makes it easier to find. Then what we need to do is paint again the rest of it so we get it painted in still but it's not as dark we could have used a um gradient but then it's only in one area and water's never in a straight line So if you just keep brushing over it, you will blend it in. And because the brush is only 10%, it takes that little bit longer. But if you persevere with it, you can get there. And that, that's it really. When it comes to painting in an object or out, you always use the mask because when you've got a black mask it hides it and you use white to paint in what you've missed and vice versa. Your flow rate obviously lowers how much you paint in and how dark it is. That's why we use the flow rate and to finish it off I found this new website about a week ago. And it's a PNG website. It's where I got my little friend from the otter we'll just place him in there all the images on that site are all png they've got loads they've got angels they've got disney characters they've got grim reapers they've got wildlife i will put the link to where i got the otter from for you to check it out because you can spend ages going around say like a lion or you can go to that site and get one for free I'm not linked to it, I won't like that. It's just one that I found that I'd like to share with you. And I'll put the link where I've got the other two, the river and the background from, in the description. If this video has helped, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit the bell to get notification of my next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.